First look at MIUI 11 stable ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi from the Xiaomi Mi 8 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at MIUI 11 stable ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi from the Xiaomi Mi 8 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. So this is how the ROM comes out of the box. You have Xiaomi's MIUI launcher in the building and if you swipe, you do have App Vault. And if you press and hold on the desktop, you will get the various options. If you click on settings, you can of course change the transition effects. You have multiple effects to choose from and whatever effect you choose, it is going to show you a preview of that. We'll just click on done. And now if we see this is our new transition effect to swipe between the various home screens which we have. Other than that, if you again long press and then go into wallpaper, you can choose between different wallpapers. Here are the system wallpapers. You have two options, static and then dynamic. Let us select one of the dynamic wallpapers. We'll choose this one, click on apply, set both and bam there it is working like a boss on the home screen and then if we lock the device and then unlock it you can see it is working on the lock screen as well another major change with miui 11 is that most of xiaomi's applications have got a ui overhaul so you have new look to the music application same applies for the themes application and other various applications as well let us go into the themes app and see what we have new. Of course, some of the text is still in Chinese because this is a port from the Chinese stable MIUI 11 ROM for the Xiaomi Mi 8. We will go into my account and as you can see, we do have all these options on the top. What is interesting is customize theme. You have the option of customizing the lock style, the status bar, the icons, the messaging, the dial pad and your favorite tray. The two options which are missing, which I have seen in other Xiaomi devices are the option to customize the boot animation and the boot sound. And I hope Xiaomi does add those options to the Poco F1 when they officially roll out MIUI 11 for the Poco F1. If you go into the security app, you do have Game Speed Booster and once you open it, then it will also create a shortcut on your home screen. Now. Do note that this ROM does not come with Google Apps installed. However, there is an application called Google Installer, which I have linked in the description of this video. All you need to do is install that application and then make sure you're connected to the internet, follow the on-screen instructions, and it will install Google Apps, which include your Google Play Store on this ROM. And once you have installed Google Apps, you can install Google Camera. So we do have Google Camera 6.2 installed and you can see it is working like a boss. Other than that, you do have Xiaomi's Mi camera also installed out of the box. And this thing also works absolutely fine with no lags to report and no issues at all. Let us now go into settings and see what all customizations we get in MIUI 11. So we are going to start with connection and sharing and you have the option of cast, wherein you can see what all devices you can cast to and take a demo as well if you want to. Next up in settings, we have ambient display and lock screen. So for this specific build, ambient display is not working and I suggest that you do not enable it as well because once you enable it, you will run into screen brightness issues. So again, do not enable ambient display. Then you have raise to wake and double tap to wake. Both these options are working absolutely fine. We can have a look at double tap to wake. So there it is, double tap and bam, working like a boss. Then you do have the option of lock screen owner info and lock screen clock format. So you can choose between three different options, centered, left aligned and vertical for your lock screen clock options. You have the toggle to enable, double press power button to launch the camera and pocket mode. Then we have display. In display you have brightness level, automatic brightness is working. And right now my studio lights are on. so. It is not adjusting, but yes, automatic brightness is working absolutely fine. Then you have reading mode. You can enable the reading mode and also set a schedule for it. Then we have color scheme. So in color scheme, you can choose between 
three different options you have auto saturated and standard all of these are working absolutely fine in auto you can choose between default warm and cool whatever color tone you like then you have anti flicker mode dark mode of course works like a boss enable dark mode and other applications which support dark mode will also switch over to dark mode like the dialer will switch over to dark mode messaging will switch over to dark mode so any application which supports dark mode is supposed to switch over to dark mode once you enable it then in display we have system font so you can choose between different fonts right now you have only one font installed but you can click on find more and download more fonts you can customize your text size and your font weight using the sliders provided at the bottom then we have the customization for notch and status bar so if we click on hide notch you have three options you can choose don't hide the notch which is how it is right now then it is hide the notch without moving the status bar so the status bar will still be used for your wi-fi icon battery icon and time and then the last option which we have is hide and move the status bar in which case the icons on the status bar will shift down there it is so all the icons shifted down let's just say don't hide then you can also configure your notch for individual applications whether you want to see icons for incoming notifications in the status bar or not whether you want to see the connection speed whether you want to see the carrier when device is locked if you want to edit the carrier name then you have customization for the battery indicator you can choose between three options you have graphical then you have percentage in the icon and you also have percentage next to the icon but because of the notch this option is like of no use so i just prefer to use percentage in the icon then you also have the ability to customize full screen mode for certain applications and a toggle to enable or disable auto rotate screen then we have sound and vibration in sound and vibration you will see that you have a view of what your current alarm sound phone ringtone events and notification sound is if you want to customize these you just tap on it you will be taken to a new ui wherein some of the ringtones will be listed and then if you want to see more all you need to do is click on all ringtones and then choose whichever ringtone you want to so this ui is applicable to alarm sound events and notifications as well then you have silent and do not disturb mode and you can also customize the level of volume using these sliders whether you want vibrate for calls or not whether you want the phone to vibrate in silent mode or not and you can also customize the intensity of vibration you have off light medium and strong options all working absolutely fine profile video for incoming calls this is a new feature which they added with miui 11 wherein when somebody calls you you will have a video playing on your screen in additional settings you have toggles for dial pad tones tap sounds screen locking sounds, screenshot sound and delete sound. If you go into earphones, you can customize based on what type of earphone you have and then also assign the buttons if you want to. Then we have notifications. So in notifications, you have the ability to turn on and off notifications for specific applications using these toggles. And then if you want to customize your lock screen notifications, this is where you can customize that if you want to say turn off lock screen notifications from mail just turn it off and it will be turned off same applies for messaging and if you want to enable it for any application let's say you want to enable it for browser enable it and browser moved over to the lock screen notifications allowed section then you have floating notifications again you can enable or disable floating notifications for whatever application you want to and the same is applicable for notification badges in notification shade you can choose between MIUI and Android style notifications and if you want to enable notifications folder you can do that as well if you want to know about notifications folder feel free to pause and read the description which Xiaomi gives then we have customizations for the home screen we already talked about some of them but you can also customize your swipe down from home screen gesture and the same applies for swipe up from home screen gesture then in case you want to lock the home screen layout you can use this toggle and if you want to choose a 5 by 6 home screen layout you can do that as well or you can stick with the default which is 4 by 6 whether you want to see memory status in the recents or not and if you want to blur an app preview for any application you can do that by enabling the toggle over here so let us open our recents and there it is you can see that contacts and camera are 
blurred out in the recents because we had enabled blur effect for them in recents and you do have the memory showing up in the recents here on the top. Next up in settings we have wallpaper so we've already discussed that you can choose between static and dynamic wallpapers and then you also have themes we have already talked about the themes application as well then you have password and security so for this specific build pin is working fingerprint unlock is working and face unlock is working as well so all your security measures work absolutely fine in battery and performance you do have a new option for ultra battery saver mode and you know if you want to know more about it feel free to pause and read what it does you do have battery saver and of course you have battery usage stats as well you can choose between ranking and details which will tell you what all applications are draining or using a battery when you use your device then we have apps in apps we have system app settings and manage apps will let you uninstall applications which you have installed then you have dual apps in case you want to create a clone of an app you can do that from here you have permissions what all applications have permission to auto start and what all applications do not have permission to auto start you can choose all those applications from here if you want to choose specific permissions then you can go into the permissions option and see what application has access to what all permissions and of course you can change it so let's say the calculator does not have access to MMS messages if you tap on it you can say accept and then the calculator now has the ability to send MMS messages and you can of course deny it as well or you can just choose notify and you also have the option of app lock wherein you can set a password to open specific applications then we have additional settings nothing much to talk about in additional settings you have your normal Xiaomi options but if you want to use full screen gestures then you will have to go into full screen display and from here and you can choose full screen gestures if you want to use the buttons like I'm using right now but you want to swap the back end recents then you can do it using this toggle you do have Xiaomi's AI but this is only for Chinese users so it is of no use to us then you have screen time this is Xiaomi's implementation of digital well-being which they have added with MIUI 11 and of course you can click on view detailed stats to see the stats for today or for the last seven days all those customizations are available in screen time moving over to special features you do have game turbo we already talked about the fact that you can access it from security quick replies if you want to enable quick replies kids space second space and MIUI lab nothing much to talk about in account sensing your normal options for you know Xiaomi account and Google account and as for the benchmark scores these are the benchmark scores which I got on this build and of course in my humble opinion benchmark scores are just numbers you should not judge a ROM by its benchmark scores and that will do it for this video peeps this has been our first look at MIUI 11 stable ROM from the Xiaomi Mi 8 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1 I hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when I see you <laughs>